not all leads are equal. One thing I've learned, you've got to target the motivated people. These people raise their hand, they're likely looking for something. So it's up to the client. So I'm going to try to open all three lines of communication on my end. Why I like Why Lopo is it helps me spend my time more useful. Priority alerts have been really good about, hey, this person has viewed this property five times. So the follow-up, rather than just a generic follow-up, it's a specific follow-up that helps target that conversation. And rather than me just sending them an email or a text message or a phone call, the same script over and over and over, I can target them and say, hey, here's some supporting documentation for this property. Once you've had a chance to review, let me know what questions you have. And then it, I'll go with the three by three. And if I don't get a response, then I'm just going to continue to follow up with a phone call or a text message or an email. Those folks know that they're not just a, a name in the database until they tell me to stop or until they pick the phone up and we have a conversation. And wherever I can get a response, then that's where I'm going to build the relationship and the rapport. And then when they answer the question about their timeline, if they're a now buyer, if they're within 90 days or if they're over six months, I know if I, you know, if I get five leads in today and I've got somebody that says they need to buy now, if I can just get in front of them first, then I know I've got a pretty good chance of them sticking with me. And, and while Opo has helped with that because if I get that alert on my phone that, hey, this is a high priority alert or I get that new lead and it's like they're looking now, they need to buy now or they've looked at 15 properties today, that's a, that's a very motivated buyer. I've got to get in front of them as soon as possible.